Hi everyone. Hi everybody. Hey Kevin, <laughs> good to see you. Good to see you too. Long time no see. I know. Yeah, the, it's we, been a we while. had a last minute change, but thanks for watching and thanks for joining the Adobe Live Show. If you don't know what this is, we go live on Behance every week, mm -hmm. inviting designers. They will create live um, over three days, and this is the first day. And uh, I, I see some familiar names in the chat. So Michael Crabtree, he was also a guest yep. actually. He was here. I saw his stream yeah. as well. Uh huh. Uh huh. Budval is there. <laughs> Omar. Everyone's Ryan, so excited to see you, see you too because they haven't seen you in a while. Yeah, so that's the the comeback. The comeback. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but awesome. today it will be about you actually designing in XD. Yeah. We are uh, celebrating this week a new release of the FXD. I think it's version uh, 17. Um, wow. With some new features That's that awesome. maybe we'll discover during the show. Uh -huh. uh, there is one that I really like. It's uh, how you can select objects inside groups. Do you know this one? Yes, I saw the update for that. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's uh, super useful. Uh, Very cool. I really like this new feature. And um, as every week on Adobe Live, we also uh, challenge our viewers to share designs with us. So yeah. uh, I think that today, if you check the change tab, um, it's about uh, designing an e-commerce experience and mm -hmm. we share a, te a template with you. So this will be the change today. Uh, tomorrow we unveil a new challenge. And if you come back on Thursday, uh, we will review portfolios. Okay, so if you want That's to nice. get live feedback, live critique on your work, it will be the perfect opportunity. Today, I really want to see yeah, what you can design in XD. It can be just uh, you know, one, two, three screens. It should, awesome. uh, if you use the, the template, the UI kit actually that uh, we are sharing with you today. I love the UI kit. Yeah, it, it's a beautiful one. It's simple and like it gets the work done quick. Yeah. Yeah. Very uh, good design. And, um, and also, we will give away uh, uh, some uh, stuff, some uh, Moon swag. Swag. Yeah, a moon notebook uh, <laughs> during the. Uh, the show, so stay tuned, be active in the chat, and uh, yeah, we'd be happy to awesome. to just talk about design and uh, yeah, and maybe figure it out. So, you have a presentation for us? Um, yeah, Kevin? just a quick introduction. Yeah. If you guys don't know me, hello, my name is Kevin Lee, and I am a UX UI designer uh, based in Los Angeles and a film photographer as well. Um, if you're already not doing that now, please follow me on Instagram to show Hi. my film photography work. Amazing pictures. Thank you so much. Um, I just have been exploring different um, types of people and you know showcasing their beauty and everything through uh, photography, which is a side hobby of mine. Mm -hmm. um, and I feel like you can't just be specifically UI UX all the time. You have to have Hi. some side hobbies. <laughs> um, but Going on to more of like what I'm going to be doing today is designing a mentor slash mentee networking app. Okay. So it's kind of like um, the main inspiration was like Bumble Biz. Okay. So Bumble is like a dating app where you swipe left, swipe right, like we all know that, and like mm -hmm. Tinder. But they came up with this new thing where it's like Bumble BFF where you can swipe for your best friend or you can um, swipe actually coworkers and like people who are hiring, swipe left and swipe right. Um, that just shows you like how single I am, <laughs> <laughs> that I know all this information. But anyways, um, that's the main inspiration for this uh, thing that I'm going to be doing today, designing and prototyping. Cool. Yeah. Kate at Jones says also uh, they like Shaper, apparently. Maybe yes. another app on the same theme. Same like Shaper as well. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. Um, so the reason why I uh, chose this is I can like have a user empathy with the mentee and mentor side of it. Um, when I first graduated college or when I was in my senior year of college last year, uh, I was looking for a mentor and like I went to a bunch of these creative networking events and um, groups to connect with like other different types of creators. Mm -hmm. But uh, if we can have that same format with like Shaper or that uh, Bumble Biz of swiping left, swiping right, I think it would um, be super useful in the long run. Okay. And I noticed one of the things for Bumble Biz is that they don't connect their LinkedIn pages. So you don't know who's like either catfishing or like who is. Um, and also it's like kind of inappropriate that Bumble Biz is attached to a dating app where you can easily swipe mm -hmm. um, on the top where, oh, I'm trying to like find someone to either like hook up or date or whatever. and then 
you're like all of a sudden feeling professional. So you change the tab inside the app to like Bumble Biz. So it's like kind of like a weird, no shade to Bumble, but I'm just saying maybe it could be separate. Um, so some of the networking events I went to was like Adobe Live here. I met so many amazing people. Um, Adobe Creative Jam, mm -hmm. uh, the Design Kids, Creative Mornings, mm -hmm, yeah. Facebook groups, Facebook events. Mm -hmm. Adobe Max. So uh, there's so many different types of creative networking events. And if you guys have any other places and yeah, it's a good question. Networking place, please let me know. I'm so up to new uh, meetups and stuff like that. Yeah, if you know any meetup organization, it can be very local. You know, sometimes uh, yeah. it can just come from one designer uh, <laughs> who wants to share, you know, best practices and then creates a user group. But meetup.com was really uh, a big platform. I know they redesigned everything. Meetup.com. Oh, meetup. Yeah. Um, yeah, I heard about that too. Yeah, they redesigned the experience actually recently. Oh wow! Yeah, with a new logo and stuff. <gasps> it was the video a video background. Oh, yeah, that look and feel. The vibe. Vibe, yeah. yeah, they did a good job. Like they, they had, a, I would oh, say, I an that. old school design for years, <gasps> mainly because they were targeting developers back in the day. So we right. had tons of meetup about uh, HTML5, CSS, JavaScript. Look at that logo. Whoa. Uh, but even the logo, yeah, it's it's uh, really playful. And uh, maybe someone can tell me in the chat, but I think they have been acquired. I saw something. So maybe they wow. they are owned by another bigger, larger organization. Nice. Um, that's very cool. But yeah, let us know if you go to these type of events. But, yeah, uh, I've never been, so please let me know, like, do the Meetup um, uh, product. So, like, let me know if you used Meetup mm -hmm. at all. Um, and another reason why I wanted to do something mentor mentee related is because that was uh, one of the opportunities that I received was from um, to to be on Adobe Live was through my mentor mm -hmm. Heba. Oh yeah, Heba. And that's how. You know, Michael reached out to me. So this is like funny how you're hosting <laughs> me funny. and I'm doing an app like this. But um, that was another inspiration. And I'm actually going to have a placeholder for Heba's picture to be like a uh, mentor that I could like swipe or swipe left or swipe right for the um, app that I'm designing. You will decide when, you will decide when she's uh, in the app if you will swipe uh, left or right. We will see. <laughs> if Heba is not. <laughs> Is she, maybe she will join in the chat. Maybe we'll see her. Yeah, maybe Who Hebel knows? will be here. Who knows? We'll see. Cool. Um, yeah, so, so I guess you, we can... Yeah, so starting in XD, XD. so you took um, um, an existing template. Yeah. Oops. Okay. Oh. Disappeared. Oh, wait. <laughs> I was doing command undo, but then I realized the... Yeah, it's just the zoom. Yeah. Okay, cool. So... Um, I like to start with low fidelity wireframes. We'll start with um, the swipe left, swipe right, like these different even individual cards <laughs> to the main page. So we'll just call this like the swipe screen. And then we'll start doing like some low fidelity wireframes for that. Okay. Um, so obviously- and, and We have a Huxel in the chat who says, oh, I would love to go to meetups, but I'm usually alone. So maybe this, this <gasps> app could solve this. Yeah. Maybe like you can- connect with some people and say, hey, do you want to join? You know, do you want to join week? me? Or do you, yeah, maybe Should there go could be together. A, diff, a feature where it shows, hey, you can bring your mentor, mentee, oh, like, yeah. to these places and like, yeah. So this app is specifically targeting art and design. So I think that's what's differentiating our app um, compared to like Shaper or Bumble Biz, because it's just a whole general, um, platform for any different type of professional field. Mm -hmm. So this is all art and design um, occupations and mentor mentees. Um, so I want a header on the top. Okay. And I'm going to get rid of the border and have a drop shadow because I love my drop shadows. <laughs> oh, actually, let me put an eight point grid as well. Stay organized with that. It's, uh, it's already aligned. Okay. Perfect. Okay. And then let's put like on the top, like we'll have my profile picture, like your own personal profile. Okay. So this would be an interactive piece. Um, yeah. Click on this picture probably. Yeah. And then manage your account. So manage your account. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then let, instead of a button or like swipe method, we'll have 
a section that says Nenti and then I, mean, I like to be a specific font, so I'm just gonna. <laughs> so Nenti, and I like how it just locks in right there. You know what I mean? Like on the line grid in the bottom of the word. It's like perfect. So Nenti. Keita is asking why why the border is automatic when you create a shape. Like, I know, I think it's a choice, like a design choice by the XD team. Uh, mm -hmm. And there is no setting, like you cannot say if I create a shape, I want a transparent or just a no border, but okay, this could be a nice setting actually. Like to empower the user. Um, True. Maybe you can vote for it, like we, we can, sh I'm sure someone proposed it on user voice. I'm pretty sure. Nice. Let me do a quick search actually. <laughs> I would be surprised if it's not already there. So basically what I'm doing is I'm having the option where, yeah, like, let's take me for an example. I'm a mentee yeah, and right. I'm looking for a mentor, but I also want to find people like me who are looking to find mentors that are very creative, very artsy, um, just to even like find friends. So we'll have both options on the top for a mentee's perspective while using this app to find mentees as well and a mentor. So it depends on which um, tab they're on. Um, so we have this on the top and then I guess we can have another icon that's going to be displaying the uh, different chats that they have okay. with the people they matched up with. So let's actually bring this down so it's all in a grid. One, two, I like to like count from the edges um, how many spaces? Okay, perfect. So it's kind of equal. I'm gonna try to center this with the circles. Okay. So we have that. Now let's get onto the actual physical uh, card, or not the physical card, the digital card of each person um, or each profile that they're going to potentially match up with. Mm -hmm. Uh, I kind of like, maybe let's do a very thin border, um, light gray type, uh, color, and then we'll curve the edges with a drop shadow. Um, I kind of like like to look even at for a low fidelity, like how it'll look like. Mm -hmm. um, you can leave it open actually. Like so, some designers, yeah. you know, they just preview and they just leave it up and on the left, like if it's not too distracting. Oh, like that, yeah. Uh, and you could show the edits in real time. Oh, sweet, awesome. So I'm gonna send this to the back and uh, make sure it looks like there's like multiple cards in the background, so they can see. Ah, like, okay. So they know that there's more an invitation to. So Keita, if you want to display the grid, you just need to select the artboard. And uh, there are two types of grid. So you're using the classic grid view. There is also the layout grid, uh, which is super useful when you design for the web and um, want to display like uh, evenly like six columns. And, uh, and when you use responsive design, then it will keep the structure with six columns. Um, but in this case, because it's yeah. a mobile app, uh, a grid view makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> There's always different options to doing stuff. Actually, the, awesome. the first guest on using Adobe XD uh -huh. um, on Adobe Live. Who was, was the first one? I think it was Travis Nielsen. He was for sure one of the first oh, using Adobe XD. The OG works for Google now. And uh, wow. he's using also the A grid view, I remember. Really? Yeah. Wow, that is so cool. Mm -hmm. So basically, I'm on his level because we use exactly. the same grid. <laughs> so I remember he would like press shift and do a right, right, and then one, two, three, four. You know, like he would do like 10, 10, one, two, three, one, two, three four, to oh. go back to 16. Yeah. <laughs> he would do that like all the time. It's a good shortcut. Okay, 
So let's see. So um, this is going to be Heba's profile. So I'm going to have her name here. And then I forgot her last name. It's like really long. So we'll just put Heba for now. <laughs> Let me find it. I know. I was like, oh. Because she has her profile as like like this. So I yeah. should I tell you when she's on that DB Live, we just say Heba. So. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, let me see. Wait, what did I make this text? See, 20 is a bit. We'll do 20 and 15. And then have that contrast of bold and book font. So, mm. Heba's. I'm not sure she's sharing uh, her last name. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, um, so, I'll say UX UI designer. At, wait, um, at ASOS Big, I think. I don't know if she changed employees or not, but I'm just going to put that there. Um, and we'll show the distance of how far away she is. Okay. Now we have a Chris Cannon joining the chat. Hey, Chris. Oh, Chris. Hey, you. how's it going? And uh, Massimiliano is, is asking if this is web design. So in this case, uh, it's uh, more like a, for a mobile app. Mobile app. But yeah. you can definitely use XD for web design, for wireframing, low fidelity, high fidelity. It really depends on the stage of your um, production or application. But in this case, it's a, it's a mobile app experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so we have this. Let's actually make this. And uh, Kevin designing in, in XD with a grid view. And on the left is a preview of the final screen, so without the grid, which is also good to have this in real time. Yeah. And, um, and you will see at some point during the show, he will add um, um, interactions and uh, transitions between the screens. So you can really communicate to uh, the final designers or the final developers how the what will be the, the experience. Mm -hmm. think. What is looking good right now? And then have a line right here. It's like a divider. Okay. Um, and I like to keep the colors consistent because there's so many different shades of like gray that if you have that consistency. So do you save your colors in, a, in the, the assets design panel? Assets. Or? Yeah. So there's two different ways I do it. I usually do this, okay. where it just saves it here. Or I can also save it in the colors section yeah. here. So if you save it in the color section here, it becomes a global color. Yeah. See what I mean? So if you edit it in this panel, it will change it everywhere on all the artboards. So yeah, it's a bit different. Um, and then, so, okay, this is how it currently looks like for low fidelity. Mm -hmm. So what, basically what I'm looking for as a mentee is I want to know what her skills are in with being a senior UX UI designer. I want to know her like bio or about me, um, as well as like maybe previous work experience, like what was her jobs, um, what's her job currently and what's her uh, job in the past. Um, and then as well as like if she has a degree or education and her social media links, like her LinkedIn, okay. uh, Twitter, uh, How portfolio. How to connect with her. Okay. Yeah, basically. So, hi Ola, thanks for joining from Poland. Ola is new to XD and can't wait to learn from the best. Oh, nice. Yeah, just, just watch Kevin. Watch me. Designing a, a mobile experience to connect uh, mentors and mentees. Yes. So we'll say skilled in, skill in, <laughs> skilled in as a header. Um, actually, that's not too bold. Let's do black. Or let's do bold instead of black. And then we can have maybe. Keita is asking you if you think that Hiba can have another mentee. Yeah, I She's mean, available for more. I'm not Heba, but you can ask her. <laughs> um, I'm sure she would love it, but yeah. I don't want to like speak for her. Um, actually, what am I doing? If you do, if you break this. 
uh, the repeat grid feature. There, and then you can see it kind of ends right here. Yeah. So maybe there we go. Mm -hmm. Extend it a little bit. Um, maybe give it more breathing room. Uh, let's move this actually. I learned a new word. It's like, like you like optimally see something as like a design layout, and then you kind of just move just by like looking at it with mm -hmm. the lines. Um, let's see if this is good or not. Get this together more. Okay. So each section is going to be divided with the line, like this. Hi, Israel Davinson. Thanks for joining. Another divider. Okay, that's good. Yeah. So you see there is a countdown in the, the bottom of the screen in the corner, which is a chat and win countdown. Ooh, which means that nice. in about eight minutes, we will ask you to be active in the chat and we will give away a Moo notebook. <laughs> um, I will show it later. It, um, I love Moo. They're, have you seen so their true. business yeah. cards? Ooh. Oh, yeah. Best business cards ever. I know. With the colored age and can choose the quality of the paper. Yeah. I really like what they're doing. It looks, yeah, it looks really good. So you guys can win an actual notebook. Yeah. Which is awesome. Um, so let me see this. What else is she skilled at? Oh, UX design, UI design. Uh, I guess we'll just say Adobe XD. I mean, it's yeah. a skill. Mm -hmm. uh, so these are her top three things she's skilled in. Next thing I want to do is like maybe have a bio. Because I guess the first thing for me as a mentee is like, I want to know what she's good at. And mm -hmm. then I want to know more about her because I know like what she's good at. So um, we can have like a quick bio. About have a um, and then tell this yeah. or about me. Hi, I have a. <laughs> okay, cool. She's very humble. Yes, <laughs> she is humble and she is amazing. Um, and then after the about me, we can continue. So now it's like stuff. Blaza from Estonia. Whoa. Oh. Thanks for watching. <gasps> it's pretty late there. Hi. How yeah, have you how used XD it? before, Vladislav? Or are you new to Esli? XD like our friend uh, Ola. Hi Jenna. Enster Vijoni Jr. Ooh. Nice. Cool. Yeah, thanks for watching everyone. Let so, us know if you're on YouTube XD or if you use it already every week. Yeah. If that's the case, we're challenging you today. So if you're watching on <laughs> behance.net slash live, yeah. uh, there is a challenge tab. And uh, we are sharing with you uh, a UI kit mm -hmm. to create an e-commerce experience. It's a beautiful UI kit, really. And uh, we just want you to create an e-commerce web homepage, I think, for a, a mobile experience. Yeah. Um, but you have all the details in the challenge tab. And we will review what you share live at the end of uh, the show, mm -hmm. give some uh, feedback, you know, if you want to uh, improve your design. Uh -huh. And um, one of the entries today will win a, a full one year Creative Cloud subscription. So Ooh. it's a big deal. And if you're already a Creative Cloud member, it will extend your membership, adding one year for free. <gasps> for free? So we have uh, oh. Vladislav is new to XD. Okay, Carl, you're using it every day. Hi, Garfi. Good to see you. <laughs> uh, Abdul, yeah, XD released an update today. Yeah, they did. Yeah. Was... Did you want to go over some stuff of the updates while I'm uh, finishing this? Or? Yeah, maybe I can do that after the chat and win. I will, I will show you uh, oh, what's okay. new. Awesome. I need to catch up, actually. I have some features in mind, but uh, maybe the top three, yeah. Uh, we'll find them. We'll find them together. <laughs> I just remember two features, but. I know there is more. Nice. 
So what I'm basically doing now is um, showing and her so resume. Vladislav is asking, can you review my work? So oh, uh, we do that on Thursday. Okay? Yes. Thursday is about portfolio reviews. So make sure to watch on Thursday. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. So that's a resume, okay? Like, uh, yeah. yeah her, like what she's been doing. She doesn't, I don't think, have to go so in depth with like what she did. It's yeah. just that position. What's like, going now, I think it's the most important. Yeah. yeah. So, um, just dividing each job. Maybe we'll show like the, the three um, most recently uh, jobs she had. Okay. So, I mean, I could have done repeat grid there, but. Yeah, and, and, and it could be, <laughs> I could imagine like a, a landmark call to action that would go on LinkedIn. Uh huh. But you don't want also your users to, you know, move away from your app. So. Yeah. So I think it's a good choice together like that. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's a good choice just to show uh, the last uh, three positions. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then if you noticed, I put two um, squares in between each one. So like for this oh, one, that's two. Okay. Yeah. Just to have it. Oh, to be consistent. Yeah. Okay. And then another way is I can actually group this ah, with this. Yeah. And that's what you mean. And then do a um, mm. repeat grid and then just change the spacing. Okay. Between. So it looks like I did like two from here as well. Okay. Cool. So and after the resume, um, I want her education, like her, if she has degrees, because we actually went over this with Jesse that um, for UX, UI, like you don't really need to have a set degree or be educated. It depends on the person. Um, that who is uh, like a strong designer. So if they prefer to be taught in a more structured layout with like going to school, then yes, 100% do that. Or if they feel like they can learn from other people um, and just gain more experience, then um, that's good as well. So can we do this same layout for um, education? Oh, yeah. Abdul can't wait to see the updates. Okay. We show them after the chat and win in a few minutes. Yeah. Um, what school she went to? I'll just put mine. <laughs> and then um, we'll just say 27. And then let me actually make this more even. So it's two. Cool, so this is our current screen. Uh, let's change the backgrounds so they can be a little bit longer. This way, and then one and a half, one and a half, like that. Okay, and let's try to move this up. I'm trying to make everything on the screen. Um, uh, align to the grid? Yeah. Also, all the information just on the screen in general. Oh, yeah, you need more space. Okay. Uh, so, education, and that's it. Hi, Derek. And obviously, if the about me is longer, um, maybe we can show that. Because that's like a super short about me section. So, um, yeah, Mariam is asking why isn't about me on top? Uh, so for about me, I mean, I guess we could put it here like a super short bio, but mm. for me, I'm looking at, I'm the type of person that wants to um, look at the skills first to see if oh, like, yeah. I match up to with them. Yeah. But that's me. Like, I okay. mean, obviously I'm not like the best source for this user. So we'll do but a bunch of user research. And, exactly. Yeah. This is typical, typically like a good uh, A-B test. Yeah. You know, with uh, user research to understand what is most uh, valuable for your users. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just gonna. She's very excited. <laughs> I'm amazing. I'm amazing. Oh, um, uh, yeah. Look, it should be the time for chat and win. Ooh, nice. So we want you to be active in the chat. So if you're just watching, make sure to sign in on behance.net slash live and say something like, moo. I don't know. Like, moo. Because that's what we will give away today. 
So I have one here, but I think you can choose the color. Um, wow. This one is beautiful. I love that color. And it's hot cover. You wow. see the beautiful paper. Yeah, Good quality paper. Oh, they got some green in it. They yeah. mixed it up. Wow. They mixed it up. So, and this is something again that uh, I think <laughs> we gave everyone's you some like, moo. like moo. <laughs> moo. And then we have a script that we randomly pick someone and we'll display the name yeah. between our two faces. I wonder who it's going to be. All the fireworks. Everyone. And we're back from the video game. <laughs> Check it in. Yeah. I wonder Shout who's going to our win. friends from Old Fellows who created this Ooh. motion design. Oh, they made this? Yeah, wow. they made the, um, the chat and win animation. I wonder how long it, it takes to do that. That's like, because it's, it's very detailed. Like. They are pretty fast. So they, they are very aware. The way we work with them is that you have a creative brief uh -huh. and they come with a storyboard and a visual style. And once yeah. you agree, they're pretty fast. Uh, the delivery process <gasps> takes maybe two weeks. Two and weeks? Here we go. Wow. <gasps> oh, Kevin! Kevin. <laughs> do, 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 do. Another Kevin. Another Kevin. Congrats. Yeah, congratulations. Wow. So we will send you a private message on Behance, okay, to share uh, just exchange information. Yeah. And um, and then, yeah, you will get access to, um, I guess, a secret URL or something. So you can choose your own Moo hardbook cover, That's notebook. Awesome. Uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. And uh, stay tuned, everyone, because Chat and Win is something that we do all the time on the Adobe Live. So it will be the same tomorrow, the same next week, all year. Sometimes we give away stickers. Sometimes Ooh. we give away posters. It really depends on the week. See, Kevin's just a special name. And That's why. Uh, it helps. That's why. It d yeah. It yeah. OK, cool. OK. So maybe as you are designing this page, I can uh, spend some time showing what's new. OK. Sounds good. In Adobe XD. Yeah. So I was. Uh, Checking the website, um, and that's the page where you see all the updates. So I think it's version 17 now, since 1.0. And I see editable vectors in Illustrator, Mark for export, select objects across group, improve font management. So usually I will show you how I uh, <laughs> address new features. <laughs> so basically, I just launch XD. Go and uh, let's start with uh, a new project. And what I like to do is just yeah, experiment and see what I can do. So editable vectors in Illustrator, I can copy paste vector content from XD to Illustrator. Okay, so let's see how it would work. I will start with uh, you know drawing vectors here. in XD and maybe I will feel a little bit limited by the tool and mm -hmm. I'm good at I Illustrator, so maybe I want to explore what I could do with this shape. Illustrator, so I will do copy, create a new document. You could just paste that, right? And now we should be able to paste it. Yeah, here we oh go. Oh my God. So that's new. Uh, oh. Before that, it was just one way. Yeah, from Illustrator to XD. Yeah. Yeah. And. Uh, so that's like super handy because I know XD, there's like certain restrictions on editing a vector image. So the ability to just copy and paste yeah. a vector from XD to um, Illustrator to make those quick changes is a real time saver because, how did I do it before? It was like very, I, do, I would have to just design it on Illustrator and then um, paste it and then just save the Illustrator document. But now I could just copy and paste it super quick. All right, it's very good. Oh, what is that? Is that a bug? Uh, I don't know. What could it be? <laughs> Let me see. It could be uh, a fat lobster. Could be this, or it could be maybe something like Probably this. Clover. It could be cool. this. Yeah. 
Maybe some, maybe we have some. <laughs> it could be this. Could be just a haircut. So that's the the first new feature. Oh, okay, geisha. Yeah. yeah, why not? Nice. Uh, mark for export. Okay, so what it's saying is that now if I'm importing uh, images from Photoshop or Illustrator, it will be marked for export. Okay. So mark for export is uh, when you design something in XD, and this is something actually that uh, it's, it's not a very well known feature. But when you have like multiple objects and maybe icons or pictures, and you want to share them with uh, your designers, mm -hmm. okay, so I'm just creating like three types of objects. What you can do is select them Y by one, and I use a Command E on a mic or a Control E to export. Okay. And I say I want a PNG. It's designed for the web at at uh, one X, so it will export a two X version. Mm -hmm. What you can also do if you have like 100 objects is go to the Layers panel and here take each object that you want to export every time to your designer and say mark for export. So the way it works is that all the objects that are marked for export, I can go to File, Export, Batch, and it will find them in my project and export each object just in one, in one click. Wow. So now what it says is that if you import uh, illustrations from Illustrator or pictures from Photoshop, it will automatically mark them as export because it's assuming that this is something you might want to share with the designer. Okay. That makes sense. Wow. Just to save time. Okay, this one I'm excited about. Selected, select objects across groups. Okay. So let me take an existing project I'm working on. Uh, let's take this. Okay. So if we, is this a group? Yeah, that's one group, and this is another group. Okay. So let's say I want to change the color of these two cups, but they are inside groups. So that's what is changing. Mm -hmm. They say that now you can use Command Shift and click. Okay. So let's try Command Shift, and now I can just select this one and I. Keep pressing Command and Shift to select another object in a group, and now I can change the color, so I don't have to ungroup or or do it one by one. Right. Wow. Super easy, Quick. Uh, but huge time saver. Like yeah. this is something uh, now I will use all the time. <laughs> and apparently, you can do a drag gesture in the web browser. Oh yeah, so that's new too. I just get happy with like small things, like small updates yeah. that just really help you. So let's see, what could we do? Okay, let me take this one. And we want to do a, a drag that will change something. Okay. So let's say that this is what I want to drag. And on this screen, oh, where is it rotated? Here we go. I want to show progress if I'm dragging this object. Okay, so let's see. I will go to prototype mode and say that let's, if I tap on this object, I want to use auto animate mm -hmm. to ease out of uh, or snap. 0.6, just to see what it does. Okay, so that's a classic auto animation. And that's something that before this release, you could already share on the web mm -hmm. and you would see the animation. Now, apparently what's new is that instead of a tap, I want to do a drag event with auto animate. So now I'm pressing and I'm dragging, and this is what I can do in my prototype, okay? But no, apparently I can share it to the web and I should see still the drag event. Uh, so that's what's new. Okay, so I will share it for review. And share for review is very useful to get uh, comments from stakeholders, other designers, mm -hmm. developers also. Maybe the developer will challenge me and say, hey, Michael, you're nice, but the, the drag event is not available in my API or something. Yeah. So it will change it. Publish it on the web. And now it's supposed to work. Yeah. Oh my god, they did a good job. It's like Whoa. super responsive. 
Yeah, they did a very good job. But smooth. Because it's really like changing technologies, like from XD, which is a native app, to web technologies. Uh huh. Uh, but yeah, it's 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 smooth. Ooh, look at that. There is Ooh. no lag. No, they did a yeah very good job. Wow. And that's the March updates. <laughs> yeah. So wow. improve font management. Font management. Font I think management. it's for Cloud Docs or oh yeah. So I think that you know that. Um, now you can save uh, your XD files in the cloud, mm -hmm. and I can share it with you. I use that with my current job. Yeah, all the time. The cloud. Yeah, yep. you just use the cloud, and, and you can share it with someone. Yeah. But what if you use Proxima Nova, for instance, which is an Adobe font available on Adobe fonts in your document, and, uh -huh. and I don't have it installed on my computer. Right. So if you share this document with me, it will detect that I don't have Proxima Nova, and it will automatically install the typeface. Wow. From Adobe Fonts, as long as you are using Adobe Fonts. Okay. Um, uh, so Adobe Fonts, if you don't know what this is, my whole work uh, I got it done. It used to be uh, uh, named uh, Typekit, you know. Mm -hmm. There we go. It's a huge catalog of typefaces uh, that you can use in all your creative apps. Um, it's always a mess. Like the number of times where I open an XD file and say, "Hey, you have seven missing fonts." Uh -huh. So now, if the designer is careful and is using fonts from this catalog, and again, like we're talking about, like thousands of fonts, um, then you should be fine because it will automatically sync it. So that's great. Again, time saver. Jira integration. If you are working, especially with developers, they really like Jira. Yeah, I know we use Jira a lot. Yeah. So a lot of teams at Adobe also. Yeah. Uh, and uh, okay, that's new. Usability testing control. Disable the navigation control in web prototypes. Oh, I like this. <laughs> so now if I share for review, I can hide the navigation control. Oh, that's great. Because you know, before you can just, if you don't know where to click, you would just uh -huh. do next you know, <gasps> on the keyboard. So you can oh, disable that. I love that. Uh -huh. You can disable the hints, wow. the comments, and now it will be a prototype that can fully use your test on yeah. the web Instead of without giving, giving any hints. <gasps> to really test if yeah. the user experience is well thought out. That's cool. Nice addition. Mm -hmm. And that's it. That's for March. Do you know when they're going to come up with the blog? Because I know that I. Always watch that woman who does the blog updates with the common voice. <laughs> oh, that's uh, Danny Beaumont. Yeah, yeah she's yeah. like, like I watched. I'm like, oh my god, I like know. Yeah, so she's much. great. Yeah, oh. yeah. Oh, I'm sure she she already produced the video. I'm okay, sure it's there. Like she's a uh, like a blog post for it. Yeah, yeah, usually the video is like already one week before, and she records everything. It's like perfect, and oh, okay. and they. They publish the video the day of the release, so I'm sure it's 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 somewhere. Okay, maybe I s checked it wrong, but mm -hmm. okay, cool. Um, awesome. So going back to oh, my there's screen. a zombie baby. Yeah, so we're gonna have him as the, uh, the, um, the legend. mentee. So like, I'm looking for a mentee friend. Like, <laughs> baby, instead of stop scaring me, he'll uh, be nice and uh, be my creative friend. And then we have Hebba's. Oh, Michael Crabtree actually checked. The, the blog is up. So the oh, video it's is up? ready. Yeah. Oh, yay. Okay. We can always count on Michael. Thank you. <laughs> and then we'll just use my photo as the actual profile. Very tiny. Um, cool. So, right now it's kind of like very white and like plain. There's not much color other than the separation of a mentee and a mentor. So what I'm gonna be doing is, since this is the low fidelity, maybe we can start the high fidelity for these screens. So um, we can kind of have, since have was a mentor, have the outline be this purple. So okay, so it will be a color code, like a yeah, kind of UI language. It's good, like to introduce, especially for your users. Mm -hmm. I wonder if this will work. So it's like very. Oops. Yeah, we're not doing that. <laughs> um, cool. I'm gonna make this. Save this. 
So is there like a separate team that just they Adobe XD they just work on specifically new updates every time, every month? Oh, it's the entire team. Oh, it's in the entire it, Yeah. So okay. that's a way um, the team the how can I say the product life cycle is organized. Uh -huh. It's with a sprint. Okay. So they can be a release every four weeks. Wow. That's so amazing. it's between design, coding, QE, which is a create engineering testing, mm -hmm. uh, making sure that you don't introduce a new bug, bug fixing from the previous versions. Because they're always it's on a track. full organization, wow. but they have this, um, yeah, it's like super uh, impressive that they can come with new features. Pull like that, that off, yeah. Every month. And I'm sure they have a roadmap like ready for a month. You know? Cool. So again, just going over the same color scheme for all of these to make it look nice. <laughs> and then Michael Crutchley says, oh, it's surprising that the baby with no eye is killed in Photoshop. But yeah, I, mean, <laughs> so. I know, right? It's pretty good. <laughs> he He's my new friend, hopefully. <laughs> uh, okay, so let me. So if you don't know who Zombie Baby is, you can watch some replays of Adobe Live. Oof. Uh, um, he appeared several times. He did. He I, really did. The first time was yeah. with Ginny uh, Ginny Huang, Huang. and, and then Daniel Marimoto. Yeah, because she got. And it was on day three. Yeah. So it was the that. third episode, and it was the first appearance of uh, Zombie Baby. Oof. And there is a Traumatic. another story is that. Did I just? So the story of Zombie Baby is that it's uh, Zombie Baby is real. <laughs> it's a real object that you can buy for Halloween. And the uh, Behance team, they bought it once, you know, like just for, for fun. You know, it was Halloween, so they had a Zombie Baby. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, but Jenny, who who is a great designer at Behance, was like really scared. Like for real. Yeah. She was really freaking out. <laughs> That and was so fun. And they they kept like having fun with her. Like she, they would like hide uh, the baby in the closet. So she would come in the morning, she would open the closet, the baby was there. Oh and, my god. Uh, they were terrible. And then Ginny was um, a guest on Adobe Live for the first time in San Francisco. Okay. They shipped the baby overnight with FedEx. What? They shipped the baby. What an effort. So we could display it like um, as a surprise like during the show okay so if you find this episode and I'm, i know tim will find the link oh. with the time code and everything um you see how we unveil a zombie baby and it's uh, it's great it, yeah i mean it's, it's a good laugh for sure unless it happens to you <laughs> and the story is that there was another live at the same time it, uh -huh. was, almost on, it, it was on facebook uh of the behance office watching adobe live and waiting for Gene's reaction. But there were like 30 people oh waiting my for God. the reaction. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Oh, that's amazing. You were at the Behance office with us too. Yeah, I was. New York. Yeah. Yep, I remember. For the... Um, um, that was fun. Inclusive design uh, week. Event. Yep. Um, so what I'm adding here is something that will show that they can either swipe with their fingers left or right, or they can just click a button that's like a check mark or an X saying like yes or no, um, that they want them, they want to connect with each other. Mm -hmm. So I'll just put two other buttons here and then have it a fixed position. Uh, I think Paco is, uh, can you play it again, Paco? I think I missed it. I see that they are reacting in the chat, but what? Let's look, ah, uh, here we go. Oh my God. <laughs> Why? <laughs> no. Okay. I mean, we're friends now. So I mean, yeah, yeah. It's okay. He's smiling. He's yeah. Smiling. He loves. Oh God. I just like sweat a little bit more. <laughs> like <laughs> after I saw that. Um, okay. So we'll have this centered. I've sure. never been scared of zombies. Uh, really? I know people are very scared of it. Uh, it's not something I, I don't like. You know um, what it is? I watch like, uh, it's not Walking Dead, it's like um, Dawn of the Dead. Oh, okay. That like really freaked me out oh. as a kid. And I would... Oh, maybe that's it. Um, 
watch a bunch of zombie movies, even though I hated it. I love horror movies um, to the point where it actually scared me. <laughs> like I couldn't handle it anymore. <laughs> okay, so let's have, let's just make a quick icon. Check mark. I just held basically the pen tool and shift and it automatically does an angle. And I just want the other one. Oh yeah, at 45. Yeah. Nice. And I kind of like the... The rounded uh, edges, edges, yeah. edges. And to make it more like your personal, I kind of like rotate it and then kind of ah. like mix it up a little bit just to see if it's, it's not perfect. Yeah. So like that, uh, kind of match the same stroke with the okay. background. So let's try to make this two maybe and then make this two. So if you look at the countdown here, you have like 38 minutes left to share with us a design made with XD. Okay. The change of the day is an e-commerce homepage. Okay. Uh, you have all the instructions in the challenge tab. So we have the I'm chat. I'm excited info to see. Uh, yeah. Ooh, that's cool. Share. I see that we already received some design from uh, Ritambara. Oh, very cool. Sniri Bassan and from uh, Denis Brun. I'm excited. Denis Brun, I hope you're French. Oh, Canada, okay. <laughs> not, not far. I would love to learn the French language. That's so cool. And uh, Rita Mbara is from Seattle. Awesome. Nice. Let's, see, let's try to separate this. Since we're doing um, high fidelity, give it the outline. So in this case, it doesn't really matter what the inside stroke is mm. because we got rid of the outside. Um, oops. And then no. I I pronounce the name of Canada and now Claude Pichet is in the chat. <laughs> There's like a bot, you know, like sending a, a push notification to Claude. <laughs> They're like, where are you? <laughs> so, hey Hector, good to see you. So we are live with uh, Kevin today. It's a surprise. It's a surprise show. Surprise. We have to improvise Hello. a little bit. <laughs> I am hosting and I'm on the show and I love it. Hello, hello. <laughs> okay. We're just working. I don't know. I'm just showing how this will work. Like this. Oh, wait. Okay, we're not doing. We're just going to do white. <laughs> So since that's covering some of the stuff, we'll bring So this do you down. want to do a swipe or a Oh tap? to click, yeah. Just a tap? Okay. Yeah. And then we'll have this fixed. Oop. And we'll leave this behind. Because this shadow's like crazy. Oh. Oops. This one. We're just gonna hide it. <laughs> um behind it. And let's see, I don't like how that looks, so we're gonna move this up to here. Cool. So, that being said, I'll copy this and then paste it here. Hi, Ashi. So, Ashi made a butterfly sticker. You use sticker mule? That's what you mean, Ashi? Because I know that sometimes we give away sticker mule. Oh. Uh, what if you could do that? What type of sticker would you make? Huh. That's a good question. <laughs> mm, I wonder. Yeah, sticker mule is very good quality. Yeah. Um, you could do so much stuff with. The design for that i'll just do like fat animals like chubby animals <laughs> just a collection of chubby animal stickers 
Um, I wonder if this will work. This is very impromptu. Yeah. Want um, to merge them or what do you want? To do? Yeah. I'm gonna is it Pathfinder? Oh. Yeah. And again, I use my help yeah. thing. Oh, it's here. Oh, you can do it here too? Yeah, if you said. Oh, right here. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Just say both and it's here. Yeah. Nice. So, oh, so the pencil, you can't curve the edges, right? It's only if it's a shape. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, I'll just probably. I'll make this short for now. Mm -hmm. So if they get a message, um, what color do I want that to be? Purple. <laughs> um, I'll just curve this one just to see. You took great pictures of uh, Hiba. Remember? Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I know we we um we're not. She's not like even my mentor, and we're just really good friends. Mm -hmm. And she uh, decided to visit LA, but I was working, and she was like, "Well, I'm gonna come another time." And we always uh, either text or message each other. So, <laughs> you know, it does. Oh, I, and then the way we met was actually through a Facebook group. So oh, making. Yeah, you can also you can have that physical interaction with someone and networking, but you can also it just proves that digital networking also works as well and can form um, long lasting great friendships and mentorships relationships, which is good. Um, okay, this is really big. <laughs> While looking at the live <laughs> uh, thing and. be like do you have one message or something yeah that's a very classic pattern we, we all know this one <laughs> mm -hmm. and what's the name of this is the bubble how do we call it you know when we say there is one two i'm sure there is a name for this uh, design pattern you know yeah oh, what's it called it's like how would you call it in the chat yeah, let us know. You, know, it's, uh, you have three messages. Yeah. Is it a bubble? I don't know how I would, how would like call a, it. A notification. Uh, hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah, give us a nickname for that. Cool. Maybe. Yeah, Chris, the notification, the dot, okay, the badge, uh, maybe the notification badge. Mm -hmm. Oh, badge, okay. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Badge notification, okay. So apparently badge is the notification. Okay. Badge notification? Yeah. Awesome. So I don't like how this bubble right here, if you can tell, it's going over. So I'm just going to make, bring this to the front. So it could kind of cover it. Yeah, nice. Okay. Or even... Okay, so I guess our main color would be purple for mentor um, messages, and then we'll, you could change it to the teal when they transfer to the mentee one. So it would be a separate thread, or it will open the same chat, you know? Uh, I think it to... should be the same. Okay. But maybe it's just going by the color theme, whichever they select, it'll just change. Okay. So but it's another hint to say you are in the mentee section or the mentor section. Yeah. But it will open the same content. Yeah, basically. But I don't know if that might be confusing, but that's yeah. why you do user testing, yeah. guys. Something to test too. <laughs> okay. Cool. Um, so okay. we got that, and I think. Oh, the header should be fixed. So, fix this. Okay. 
So when you scroll, Oops. it doesn't move. Ah, oh, the bar is not fixed, okay. And then this all should be in the bottom, except for this. Yeah. Cool. Okay, looks good. Maybe you want to check the this screen. Maybe this screen is not fixed as yeah. well. So let's do this. This is already fixed in the bar. Okay. Okay. And then this at the bottom. Okay. Oh, this isn't fixed. Hi, Cesar. <laughs> salut. This is what I love about like for watching. the live thing because you can fix problems as yeah. they're going. Um, let's okay. see if it's cool to add drop shadow. Or is this too much drop shadow? Do you yeah. want to to test the transition to see how it feels, you know? Mm -hmm. If we switch between mentee and mentor, you know? Oh, okay. Yeah. Just to, so, you know, to start feeling how, if the navigation works, if it's clear enough, like how, do you, how would you switch from one car to another one? Yeah. We can try several things. So, I mean, this is like an obvious one where you can. Okay. Oh, wait. With auto animate. Ah, right. yeah. So that's interesting because you, you see the Adobe XD because you could paste it. It has the same name. Yeah. So I think the way to fix it would be to go to the layers panel and give it a different name. So if you select just Adobe XD in the design view. Oh, this one? Yeah. And oh, just yes. select Adobe XD here. Okay. Uh, yeah, can you rename this if you double click? And then rename it to uh, Adobe XD. Uh, just this, just to give it a different name. So, it so won't now, like convert. yeah. So now yeah. it's not the same object. See, now it's not moving around. It was like moving around. Right. Okay. Awesome. I can see that the size is not the same. I know, here. I just noticed that too. Mm. <laughs> it's like, what? So just tiny details like help. So this is using auto animate between two screens. Yeah, with the prototype yeah. feature. Easily fixed, so yeah. You can that, do a copy paste actually. Yeah, it's actually better. <laughs> if you paste, it would be at the same place. Perfect. Nice. So yeah, a simple like slide that I like it. Okay. That transition. Yeah, you have the color changing. Yeah, interesting. And then looking through the LinkedIn portfolios. Mm -hmm. So if you want to go um, to the chat, we can do the chat really quick as far as like design. Um, so instead of my profile image, I'm going to put a back button to go back to the swiping method. Oops. So the back button will go, where would you go? Uh, so back? this is the messaging. So I'm, I'm going to delete okay. all this. Yeah, oh, okay. it's not even. Ah, it's for the messaging. Okay. Yeah. If you change the view to, to messaging, I see. Yeah. Just two. Do you have two actually? What was that? I wonder if you have to, if you need the back. Oh yeah, maybe you need the back. Because you could say, um, like I click on messaging, Mm -hmm. And now it's underlined. You see, like it could almost behave as a tab. Oh, like mentee, mentor, yeah. and a message. Ooh, it you could, could be a that. section. <gasps> that could be interesting, just to have that consistency. Yeah. Of the text. Let's do a different version yeah. of that. You can try a variation. Why is it uh, the chat? Oh yeah, chat. <laughs> and then maybe like a different color. Yeah. Um, let's see. Because the chat is not really. It's actually between both mentee and mentors. So it's. Uh huh. Oh, cool. It can have its own color. Mentee. Cool. And then um, we'll do this. Mm -hmm. like this here. Nice. So 
stuff could just be like boop, boop, done. Um, yeah, quick test. Let's get rid of all this stuff. Goodbye, zombie baby. No more of The this. chat, yeah, you can use repeat grid with the chat. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I want to have like a section where, actually, let me get rid of this. Oh, wait, we don't even need a back button because everything's here. It should, yeah, it should <gasps> keep the context. Nice. Um, stickiness. <laughs> and then for messaging, let's have like all your matches showing. So we're going to grab the same design line asset and then paste it here. Uh, staying consistent where this text placement is, I'm just going to copy and paste it here as just a reference. Mm -hmm. And then put the line underneath that. It kind of looks like it's like a lot. So let me see if I can. Does it look differently if I did this? No, I like that better. Um, I like how you move away. Yeah, I'm like, wait, no. <laughs> um, okay, so actually, since this is very low, okay, we can't really have it here because we might just have to move it up like this and then have the different matches that I have beneath it. So we can just be like, uh, all matches. Mm. And then have... <laughs> All of these, like literally. The, and then we'll mix it up. We'll add like hebas to show, like, okay, this is. Do you want to do a. Uh, ah, let's do the UI Faces plugin. Do you know this <gasps> one? Yeah, uh huh. That's a good one, too. Yeah. Um, so it's in a, yeah, you select a repeat grid. Yeah, let's do discover plugins. I, I think, think that it's called UI Faces. You know? um, yeah, uh, right yeah. Here. Okay, let's install it. So now you have, uh, since Adobe Max, I think, so in October, uh -huh. uh, plugin marketplace. So let's see how it works. If you go back to plugin, now we, yeah, UI Faces at the top. Uh -huh. It says, yeah. uh, okay, so you can say male, female. Happiness. Uh, we want all the hair color. <laughs> um, yes. Okay. Oh, you could choose yeah, like choose the oh, source. Wow. So you can say diverse UI is a good one actually. You uh, which diverse one? UI. The, oh, okay. Yeah, and apply. Okay. So the filter combination. You know, okay. So <laughs> to go back to actually, you don't have to check all this stuff. Uh, oh. So you can un uncheck everything. And I'll just do it. And just select the diverse UI. Yeah. Okay. Apply okay. faces. Oh. What? Uh, use any mockups. I'll just try all of them. <laughs> to see. Okay. <laughs> it's not probably so it's not like this. Is it because I already have an image in it? Mm, okay, let me find out. If we just select like one shape and say fight someone. <laughs> okay. Howard says no, it works. faces needs a zombie option. <laughs> so what's weird is that? I actually thought that was Howard in the oh, yeah, that's him. this image. <laughs> <laughs> so UI faces on a repeat grid. It's not supported yet. Okay. okay, so that's fine. So what we can do is, uh, you want to extend it like... Oh yeah, uh, I just did that to show a mixture of like the purple outline with yeah. the teal outline. So maybe we can ungroup here the grid mm -hmm. once if you are happy with the spacing. Yeah. Ungroup this. Okay, and now if we select each element, 
Or maybe we want oh. to keep a, at least a zombie baby. And do UI faces. That should randomize it. Yeah. Oh, right. perfect. There we go. Awesome. Cool. Yeah. yeah. So I guess they are working on the repeat grid. Um, but today you have to select several containers. So my advice would be uh, start with the work repeat grid to create the layout. Right. And then you can ungroup the repeat grid. Uh huh. And just uh, populate with uh, pictures who are like, uh, what's the name? Uh, royalty free. I mean, there is no license issue with these pictures. Right. Okay. Nice. Um, so yeah, there are like very cool plugins to yeah. quickly design. There is another one where you can connect a, a repeat grid with um, a Google Sheet, you know, with data. Okay. And it will populate the data from Google to your uh, XD document. So, wow. Yeah. Nice. Okay, so let me do this. Divide the matches. Um, so let's give more room for that. Two spaces. Cool. And then all matches, and then we'll do conversations or chat. So all chat. And we can have <laughs> Zombie baby's photo. Yeah. Huge. Thanks, Ayo, <laughs> for sharing your prototype made with XD. We'll review your oh, prototypes yeah. in about uh, 16 minutes. The theme of the day is uh, e-commerce. You have I'm all the details in the challenge tab. Yeah, it would be cool. Okay. And now you can, you saw, you saw like you can share on the web, uh, drag events, mm -hmm. animations. So many new updates. Yeah. Um, okay, so we have this. We'll put zombie baby. So since it's a mentee, we'll put it in this color. Yeah. I like this visual, lang visual, uh, visual language, you know, where yeah. uh, like color differentiation. Yeah. Even if you're a first time user, like after uh, a few seconds, you, you navigate and you understand, oh, okay. Just very like simple. Clear. Three categories. This is something I uh, use a lot in uh, print design. Mm -hmm. Oh, this type of yeah, like concept. Clear sections. Oh, nice. Cool. So. Medium from book, book. And moving this check here. So since this is a chat, we can make the spacing smaller or closer towards the profile. Yeah, I think you can and decide about like how many messages should we see, you know? Um, Check with the Behance mobile app. I don't know if I can access my inbox actually, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. No, but I see my notifications. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So they were able to display eight notifications. Okay. Oh no, they are messages, sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. I think, yeah, if you display at least five, it's mm -hmm. good. So here, one, two, three, four, five. Six. Yeah, that's good. That's a good, uh, good number of messages, I think. <laughs> a lot. Yeah. Cool. I mean, our conversations. Yeah. And then, I mean, we can change this to be purple. Oh. So, I guess I have to ungroup yeah, this. Yeah, you can ungroup. Yeah. Once you have your structure. Yeah. Okay. Depending on, if it's a mentor, or mentee. We'll see. Um, Hi, Pierre. Thanks for joining. Cool. Um, how are the submissions going right now? Are they... Yeah, we have three that are ready, and they have uh, 
about 13 minutes left to submit something. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Wonder how that'll go. So at this stage, like when you say all chat, do you expect that? Oh, maybe you should have a different filter. person every oh. time. You see what I mean? All chat meaning that I would see like the first line, and then I would expect to click and then have the full thread. Oh, okay. Or what do you mean by a all chat? I'm what do you envision like, with the chat? Um, like an individual conversation. Yeah, with someone. With somebody, and then yeah. beneath it, this is everybody. Oh, so these are all different people. Yeah, exactly. So this is like yeah. person to exactly. So it's not like a conversation. This is so maybe we can try the UI st stuff again. Maybe you can just select these ones. Okay. Individually, like the oh, and the faces. Oh. Actually, let's try something crazy. Do you have the new XD or no? Yeah. Okay. I think I do. I should. Yeah, I do. <laughs> awesome. So let's try Command Shift Command and select shift. them one by one. So, you know, and maybe these two we can keep them because it's uh, okay. We are okay. So yeah, Command Shift and select the other ones. This one. Yeah. So that's the new feature: selecting groups. Oh, so you don't okay. have to ungroup everything. <gasps> and nice. now let's try UI faces on this. Ooh. So UI okay. faces. Press apply. Boom. There we go. Nice. <gasps> Wow, easy. I love that. And that is the March updates. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nice. Okay. And that's a nice addition because we, like, that's the type of uh, crazy question mm -hmm. that someone can have. You know, when you present design, yeah. And you're a designer, you know that these are different people, but you just, uh, you know, put the same picture. You always have someone <laughs> asking, so is it the same people? I'm just, like I'm talking to the same person. Yeah, like. Oh. And you're like, no, okay. Next time I will put different faces. But that's good though because um, it brings up all these concerns, right? Like yeah. It did look like a chat, but having all these different people makes it. And now you know. Okay, these are different conversations I'm having. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so let me re-prototype this. Um, this will be here. Hey, Anissa. Chat will go here. So yeah, with Dambara, so the, the trick that Kevin is using on the left is that that's just the preview of the prototype. So what's cool is that in the design view, he's using the eight point grid. Mm -hmm. It can be very noisy and very distracting, but with the preview, at least you see the final uh, yeah. result and if it's pleasing to the eye. So I'm noticing this is, this is becoming slow to this object, so I wonder if it's the same name. Oh, can you show me again? Oh, yeah. Um, so this, or okay. sorry, this one? Yeah. And if you go on chat, it goes okay. down here. So that's easy to fix. So if you go to the design view yep. and select the object, yeah, just rename the layer. The book, uh, actually, that's weird. Yeah, let's try it again. Oh no, it's this one. Oh, I think it's because I repeated all oh, of these. So I'll just <laughs> no, it's the other one. <laughs> so yeah, so if you see a weird animation that is not expected between two screens when you use auto-animate, it's because the layers in the first artboard bar and the next one have the same name. So you just need to rename your layers. It should be fixed. Version 3. Um, going back here. Uh, Gareth is oh, asking if, you, if there is a, a minimum readable or legible size, you know, on mobile. Uh, I would say, well, for me, I think it's like 15 or even 12 or 13. Mm -hmm. It just depends, like, your, the demographic of your user and, like, um, again, going back to, like, the first stream accessibility designing mm -hmm. um, 
for accessibility. Like it depends if like how their well their eyesight is. So it's very different um, depending on the user and who you're targeting. Um, this is nine. The nine miles away is twelve point. The senior UX UI designer is fifteen, and then Heba is uh, twenty. Mm -hmm. So, um, so you kind of have to make your own judgment on that. I think. Yeah. So it still does this, uh, even though I changed. Okay, so maybe there is a like there are like two objects. That's what I was expect. Maybe there is a mask and, uh, but that's fine. We can fix it later. Yeah. Okay. Cool. It's easy. So. Oh, no, it works. Uh, now. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. <laughs> um. So let me delete these because yeah, so you're not confused. So we have the chat. I guess we can go to an individual conversation. Okay. You have to. Um. So I kind of like the small icons here. Um. You and. <laughs> Baby. Um, this twelve is the icon is smaller. Um, and then we'll show the time. Like one twenty. And thank you, Beck Nelson, for sharing your prototype about e-commerce. We'll review them um, in uh, 10, 15 minutes, I guess. Ooh, okay. They have seven minutes left to submit something. Oh, they do? Okay. Cool. Okay, so Hiren, uh, don't freak out. Hiren is saying, I'm trying to export my project to submit, <laughs> and not all my airboards are on the prototype. So make sure that they are connected. Okay. Hiren. Um, yeah. Make sure, like, uh, so one trick, like, if you go to the prototype view, maybe, and if you zoom out, please, yeah, can you do Command A? Yeah. So if you do Command A or Control A on Windows, it will show you all the connect uh, all the connections, and I can already see that the fourth screen is not connected. Mm -hmm. So when you will publish it on the web, I will never see the fourth screen. So make sure to have really links between all your artboards before publishing on the web. If you already published, it's OK. You can add these links and update what you published on the web. Yeah. Sweet. Hey, Melody. <laughs> and then, OK, so we'll get rid of this. We have all the XD friends in the chat. In the chat, it's cool. Will time trigger auto animate not show up? It would. It would in uh, a time transition. If it's on an artboard, it, it should work on the web. Do you want to differentiate the message with the time? Oh, yeah. Oh, that works. That's good. Um, OK, so we're talking to Zombie Baby, so that'll be on the left side, because when you're texting I mean, someone. Zombie. Oh, yeah, OK. Let me double check. Yeah, I think so. Uh, so what you say, what you type, is, is on, on the, the left. Right. Oh, it's on the Yeah. What I type is on the, and what I receive is on the right. Oh, no, yeah. No, oh, no, no, you're right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, right, sorry. <laughs> I was like, wait. But my no, time right. wrong. <laughs> um, and then I'll post this here. Three. I'm glad I checked, so now it's even more confusing. <laughs> yeah, right. Thanks for checking. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Um, and then, actually, you can actually show that you are a mentee talking to a mentee. So I guess I'll outline me that same teal color because we're both mentees talking to each other. Mm -hmm. um, so with that being said, it'll be the same color.
How does it show? Like that's on Behance, for instance. You know, like six months ago, and then oh, it's just like in a bubble. Yeah. Okay, three minutes left to submit your design. Thank you, Geoffrey Erickson, for sharing your prototype. I'm excited to see these. Ooh. Yeah, so Hilen, you, you should share it and maybe you can update it, you know? Yeah, like while we're looking yeah. at other ones. That could work. Thank you, Nick, for sharing. Okay, how did I do that? I put this underneath here. Yeah. And what it does usually is that if you receive like three different messages, then you don't have to display the avatar and the date again. You know, mm -hmm. just it'll all just new go bubbles. Under. Yeah. Yeah. If it comes from the same. That's a good point. Back here, I see it. Helen, I see yours too. Oh, this is this was at an angle this whole time. That just shows you like working far away. Um, you need to work <laughs> close. It was like angled. Uh, I knew something was wrong with it. I was like, "What's wrong with this?" Um, okay, let's bring this down. Oh. Space. Nice. Nice. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Just to. Wow. Well, again, it's a prototype, so you just want to. <laughs> yeah. To literally. test the navigation and. Wow. Okay. Now the question is, how do you come back? Ah. Oh, good. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. How do you come back Suggestion. to old chat? Is it here? Yeah. Maybe here, huh? you're right? On the left, no? Yeah. Right here? It's like a breadcrumb, you yeah. know? Yeah. Oh, like. Uh, no, no, you're right. I okay. Think, uh, oh. Um, yeah, right? Just like yeah. a little. Something to use a test also. Yeah. That's typically a feature I would uh, also test. 35 by 35. It's like. Mm. If the user, if they don't figure it out like in one second, then there's something wrong. Like the. Back navigation has to be. I forgot what the uh, touch dimension was. Someone mentioned it. It was I think 32 pixels. No, was it 30? Oh, 32. I don't know. That's why I have in mind. Okay. Oh, it looks, no, it looks very big. Maybe you can. Um, you have a profile <laughs> picture. Is it the same size? Oh right. Let me. Um... Oh, it is. <laughs> huh. If you look at the height. Oh yeah. The... Wow. Okay. Yeah. It... It looks huge and it looks like huge. So it could be also the heat zone. See what I mean? Yeah. Like your icon can be smaller, but then oh, the but developer can make sure that the surrounding the sensitive elements. is surrounding. Yeah. True. So then you would basically talk to your developer. Yeah. Communicate with that. Communicate. So you can actually just make this white. Yes, that's I would recommend. Even for your when you share the prototype on the web. Uh huh. Otherwise I would have to click on the stroke. Oh. Which is like super, like. So, okay. Which is, yeah, not good. So the, the so, so the trick is to do this. You just do uh, be like, break, like yeah. this, I just, just to show for a reference. Even yeah, though it's or small, you can, it'll, you can, yeah. Okay. Even make it white, but then when you build the prototype. Yeah. That's your interactive object to trigger oh. the, the back. I like that. Okay. Okay. Um, it's, uh. The deadline 
I see zero 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 for the change submission time. Ooh, okay. Are you ready? What's I it? see that Anel also shared a prototype. Thank you, Anel. <gasps> Anel, you submitted. Nice. Yeah. At the very last second. So oh, I give you a few more now. minutes if you are in the process of uploading because I know that mm -hmm. can take some time. And then meanwhile, I'll so just maybe you can try some uh, navigation also to see how it feels. You know. Yeah, like prototype it. Yeah. Yeah. So again, I can just connect all these screens. Oh yeah, good idea. So it, you get auto animate, okay? Or chat stays the same, and, and maybe thing. auto animate is not the best transition. Oh yeah, for Oops. this one, maybe you want to be more between this and this, like more push left, push, you know, like yeah, to really show that it's the same. I don't know. Like swiping, do you think, or what would you? I don't know. Let's let's try. Like a drag. No, 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 no. No dragging, or no, not. You're, you're going too crazy. <laughs> well, still everything. So a transition crazy, for okay. sure. Yeah, I would try a transition and then maybe a push instead instead of dissolve like a push. slide or a push and see. Oh, let's see. Push for a second. Um, wait, yeah. I and you have to start from here. Yeah, to really feel how. Sure. How they live together. Wait, that looked wrong for a second. No, it's not that. Yeah, that's no. the wrong direction. Oh, okay. No, that could be one. There. And the other one was so you tried slide, and the other one is. Let's do push, push. right. Right, just to see if it's a bit more natural. Yeah, it's, That's I better. feel it's more natural. I like that. <laughs> Ideally, the header wouldn't be part of the transition, but uh -huh. it's not something you can do today. OK. We could do it with auto-animate, grouping everything, and sliding stuff. But for a prototype, don't waste time on this. I think it looks great. Awesome. Sweet. And now we have our swipe app, Mentor Mentee. Where we can look nice. at the messages, look at everything, yeah. go back. So maybe when you open a message, this is when you can introduce the, you see, the move. Instead, mm -hmm. I think if oh, you click yeah. on Zombie Baby, you have a dissolve yeah. or something. So this is something we can fix. Um, and do a transition. So I think we said idea. push left would yeah. be OK. Yeah, like there we go. Yep. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nice. I like it. Hmm? Cool. Cool. And you use repeat grids, you use your own <laughs> grid, nice. UI faces, a clear color coded uh, navigation. It's, and then the it's a great base. Um, clicking multiple stuff in a group. Oh, yeah. yeah. That was that, that that saves us a lot of time. Yeah. Yeah, the command, the UI faces. command shift selection. Yeah. Awesome. Cool. Hey, Maxime Junior, thanks for watching. And Pierre says, super intéressant, which is very interesting. So thanks super for sharing, Kevin. Oh. Is that French? Yep. Nice. <laughs> Maybe Pierre. Are you f where are you from, uh, Pierre? Because when I say French, then you say, oh, I'm from Canada. You know, Bonjour. I'll be tricked again. <laughs> awesome. Cool. Um, did you want to go over the challenge submissions, or should we still? Um, do yeah, so I, I will open them on my disk. OK. I just received the one from Nicole. Thank you, Nicole. Yes. Um, and maybe what you can try to do Okay. Just to share it for review, so we see how it behaves on the web. You know, oh. to make sure we still we kept the transition. Let's get rid of still all this. <laughs> no hints. No hints. No hints. Okay. So let's see. So that's so what when you uncheck everything, that's the new feature mm -hmm. that is meant for user testing. Yeah, and like the rough one. Yeah, if you click here. Okay, and as you are doing this, I will start opening. Prototypes. So we have the uh, mentor card swipe method. And if you wanted to switch to finding a mentor to a mentee, it switches and transitions that way with okay. the bottom bar here. Um, if you wanted to do a chat, we can click this. Good. And then uh, a specific. Well, if you actually do click on the wireframe, it doesn't show the hotspot or like where to click. Which is interesting. Nope. Yeah, you have to find it. Uh, so I'm like, I want to talk to Zombie Baby. That transition of push left, I believe. 
and then looking at the messages and then push right to go back. Nice. Awesome. Looks so good. Um, with the colored backdrops too, for the cards in the background and then the line that indicates which section you're on. It gives like a neon effect. <laughs> awesome. Cool. Cool. Okay, let's review the prototypes that you created as uh, Kevin was designing nice. on the theme of the day, which is an e-commerce experience. Oh, cool. So that's the first one. If you recognize your prototype, say, hey, it's mine in the chat, okay? <laughs> nice. Because uh, sometimes I have the name, sometimes I don't. So Shop Frog. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, let's try to figure out so I can scroll down. Ooh. Okay. And now I remember looking at this yeah. in the early morning. Nice layout. I like the color option like that. That's cool. You can add to cart. Wow. Yeah. It le legit looks like an e-commerce yeah. app. That like, looks good. Especially the cart, yeah. like you don't want to be too fancy. <laughs> uh, you want to be like super Simple. clear. Yep. A lot of clarity because we're about to check out. So I, I can like close that. the cart. Different okay, colors. what else can I do? Just browsing around to see if I missed something. I love how they use like photography like that behind images because mm -hmm. it just brings more personality to your brand. Yeah, it's not that easy. Um, especially for clothing, so awesome job. One thing I would suggest is the checkout page. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's more pages. Oh. Yeah, I'm checking. Apparently there are some options maybe I missed or just artboards. Maybe she was experimenting, you know, with a, a couple of variations. Nice. Cool. Yeah, cool. Looks good. Yeah, very good base. Then another one with already a comment from Keita. Oh, nice. So, People okay. are already commenting on it. We bit great, so that's like a catalog experience. So maybe I go back to the home just to make sure. Okay, I, I log in and I have my catalog. Mm -hmm. Like, can I click on one item? Not really. I'm trying to see what's going on here. I like the like so forest like green like, with okay. the wood. So there is a furniture. search engine, okay, with maybe some uh, recommendations. And this, ah, oh, it's too okay. Favorite, like what are my, uh, you know, bookmarks of favorite? Okay, mm -hmm. start to understand what's going on. And that's a sign up experience. Nice. Okay, so maybe you are trying to tell me that I could drag. It really fits there the whole go. That's forest what you are trying to tell me. Looks good. And that's new. <laughs> see, not the drag event, but the fact that I can preview um, a drag directly in the browser. That's yeah. new. Nice. So props cool. to you for that. Yeah. That's cool. Good job. This um, one. Ah, I like the, <laughs> the tip. Like, oh, with the time transition. Very nice. Very smart. Oh, wow. Uh, here's the drag again. You see, he directly used it. Who is this from? I don't know. Whoa. Oh, oh, I like that. Yeah. That was cool. So to do that, it means that in this case, the designer prepared all the elements out of screen. the canvas. So you can just enable a transition. Wow. Very neat. Very nice uh, typeface. I feel that here we go. I mean, when you can use the drag event, just, you know, Oh, I investing love investing in it. It'd be cool if it was like a 360 oh, photo. Nice. Looks cool. Oh, cool. Slider. Oh, that's not easy. You see this? Yeah. To do this. Mm -hmm. That's a very funny trick with a mask for each uh, numbers with two different speed. That's very nice. <laughs> That's really That's cool. someone who knows XD very well, I can tell. Wow, oh, writing experience. This was unbelievable. Nice, nice transition. Very nice. I want to click anywhere, everywhere now. <laughs> Please Maybe there was just here where you can improve your transition here. It's, it's a little bit weird. Wow, there's a lot of But these are really this. like this. Very, very good. Yeah, I mean, good job in the, just yeah, designing really during good. the show. That's very, pretty impressive. Huh? 
the hamburger icon. Oh, someone is saying, oh, can the author of the last transition share the source file? Uh, something important, and maybe we have a card, Paco, I'm not sure. Um, we have a um, uh, Slack mm -hmm. channel for the Adobe XD community. Mm -hmm. So if you jo join the Slack, this is uh, maybe something where you can find it. Uh, maybe Howard, you know the link <laughs> in the chat. Maybe you can share it, Howard. But if you join the Slack, this is where you can share your design and maybe ask for the source file. You know, it's, I think it's the right place. Cool. So, beauty. New Zealand, maybe? New Zealand, yeah. Uh, I'm know. thinking about too, yeah. Okay. So yeah, maybe one piece of feedback here. Um, I'm confused. What is the one on the right top say, and then the bottom left? Like, what's that red border? Oh, special off. Oh, okay. Interesting. Yeah. I mean, it looks good overall. I I think it's just to maybe clarify that something is a special offer. Like maybe there's a better way to do that than have a small text. Because it kind of looks like it's a different thing, a part of that. So a part of the oh, whole. Design. Thanks for putting the link. So yeah, if oh, yeah. you want to join That's our XD. Slack, it's a live chat with uh, designers using XD. Yeah. So if you want to share files, get uh, feedback on your design, also if you have questions about XD, it's like uh, <laughs> going on uh, twenty four seven. So feel free to join. It's a um, community. Yeah, I think that the the change here and this Beck is from New Zealand, so that was it. Uh, is to, like here, doing a good job at really showing the product. Yeah. Uh, the challenge is, after that, everything is at the same level. That's how I feel this. So uh, in terms of oh, hierarchy. Yeah. So what is the most important for me at this stage? So is it the price? Is it the brand? Mm -hmm. And add to cart is almost like bigger than the rest of the information. So. Uh, I would just work a little bit on the hierarchy and experiment. Yeah, I uh, agree. Especially on mobile, like you don't want to be too small. And um, and then let's see what's happening if I add it to the card. Okay, here you feel it's already working way better. Mm -hmm. I read the brand, the price, I'm good. Description if I want to. Mm -hmm. And the select, oh, oh nice. Oh, nice, it's not easy to do. With a pop-up, wow. I believe. Yeah. And I can add it to the cart. We saved 12 bucks. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> and uh, with a confirmation, continue to secure checkout. Good, yeah. Very nice e-commerce awesome. pattern there. Yeah. Good it's job. Good. It could be like a web mobile version of a e-commerce website. You know, that's yeah. how I would feel. It. Like in the browser, mm -hmm. with the pop-up, make sure that uh, the user is committed. It's very good. Men's leather goods. Okay. <laughs> it's scrolling. Oh, you see here? Ooh. Cool maybe it's by design. Stuff. Maybe it's by design. Right. Okay, so let's see what's going. Oh. If I do this, ooh, ooh what's that's cool. Okay, let's try again. Two hundred totals. Okay, I'm trying to understand how it works. Okay. Men leather goods is here. I click here. Is that the shoe size or what? What are those other buttons? Oh, two times, one time. Two hundred dollars total. That's so a that's, cool transition. That's my cart. Okay. Oh, okay. So I have two items like this. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Okay, so it's like yeah. a summary of my cart, I think. Nice. Yeah. While well, they sell leather goods and bean goods. <laughs> And bean goods, yeah. Interesting. Yeah, it's very minimal clean. Yeah, it's a nice exploration of, yeah, how can you summarize a card at the end, but then what's next? That's really right. what to explore. How can I check out? Mm -hmm. Nice. But it's, it's clean, like the, a lot of, uh, like the UI is breathing well. Like I feel the. Right. The one thing is, like, in the cart, it's kind of like too minimal, where, like, I don't really know what I have in my cart. But yeah. overall, it looks amazing. Mm -hmm. So is it some? 
I design like created with the idea of motivating. And okay. Ah. Uh, oh, you are all adding drag in events. That's cool. Shop the sunglasses. Okay, that's where I went. Ooh. <laughs> nice. Okay. Lemon tree. Okay, I can check out. Ah, okay. Or you can remove it. And I can directly choose to remove it if I made a mistake. So it's a way of another pattern for confirmation. OK. Um, so with that, I would, when you click on 40, I would expect check out instead of remove. Yeah. So maybe have the have change that to the checkout, and then maybe remove, like, they would have to click an X on the photo or click on the cart to actually um, manually remove the item. But yeah, it's an interesting concept of switching the button. Yeah, and, uh, and as we have animation also, like some patterns I saw is that- That I, animation was cool. If I click here, what you can do is, yeah. maybe you see this red bubble, could come from here maybe, or like, oh, yeah, like show that this yeah. action had an impact on here. So you could show that- That movement yeah, the of movement. jumping in the cart. Yep. And then you educate the user and say, oh, okay, this is where I can review my items. Wow. Um, Good job, Nick. <laughs> yeah, but it looks good, though. Look at all those sunglasses. <laughs> Let me make sure. Oh, okay, there is a hamburger menu somewhere. There we go. Nice. Oh, oh I like this animation. Yeah, where yeah. it flips like Always that. efficient. Nice. And the logo moves to the right. Yeah. Cool. Nice. Good job. Yeah, good job. Huh? So we starting. <laughs> we had a lot of. Um, Submissions. <laughs> yeah. Welcome back, Elaine. OK. Nice. So I see your cart. OK, wow. Hinan, you had trouble like, connecting the dots. So let me go back here and see what's going on. Oh, nice. Refine. Very nice, a splash screen. Very welcoming. Ooh. Very cool. The cover flow on a drag. <laughs> OK, so you, you can move this one on the on the left, like outside the canvas, actually. Mm -hmm. So it will also disappear and size it down. But that's not easy. Oh, and you could um, add how many you want. Yeah, th one. there is a trick. Like, It could be in the same group. Yeah. So you group all the cards, everything. You just change the dimensions inside the group. So the group is still here. <laughs> um, because the thing is that if you take one element and you move it like outside the artboard, mm -hmm. XD doesn't know that it's linked to this artboard. Oh, OK. So XD might be tempted just to, to delete it, you see what I mean? Like to yep. be like uh, you're gone. <laughs> so the trick is to group it, to group Smart. all your cards. And inside a group, you change the dimensions of the card. To go from one to the other. Yeah. Nice. I love that refinement. I love animation. The, this. That's like, oh. We love a good home screen or like screen yeah. like that. I love that. Like, thank you. Thanks for welcoming uh, the yeah. users. Just a little effort goes a long way for the experience. So yeah, Helene, yeah, she oh. says, I had trouble <laughs> when uh, taking things off the canvas. So yeah, so that's the trick. Just uh, um, use one main group uh -huh. with your four cards and change the size between the two. Nice. OK, oh. new one. Cool. Very formal, but I like the typography actually. Very easy to read. Oh, an L, right? Yeah, it's an L. I nice. like uh, this, okay. To navigate. Ooh, okay. I would try an L, like if I have to navigate between three categories here. And if I say login, I should be able to still see sign up. You know, like it should like maybe yeah. move a little bit so I can still go back. Yeah. Nice. Oh, wow. Did you make those buttons too? Wow. Yeah, they look good. Like nice gradients with a drop shadow. Nice. OK, <laughs> details. And Nell knows I like drop shadow, which is good. Yeah, it works very <laughs> well. Uh, reviews to build trust, like it. Ooh, yep. Search, Search. expense, yeah, like 14 screens. Wow. This is a whole app. Yeah. <laughs> good job. The cart, very clean, easy wow. to read. Yeah. Be a little bit small, small maybe for mobile. Like mm -hmm. if I want to do plus one. To click. So remember the 32 or 30-ish <laughs> uh, yeah, rule? Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Um, 
because what you don't want to risk here is that me doing plus, but then my thumb is here and it does a minus, you know, like it. Like yeah, it's so I close that. Too. Yeah, so me like too. That. I'm really bad with the keyboard, like on <laughs> my phone. Like, I really type nonsense. Yeah, same. I'm just like, what and did I here, just type? I feel it's too close. Yeah. Cool. And you have you have space, so you can give it some air, breathing room. Yeah, got it. A good oh, job. I really like out. this. Check wow. out. It really looks good. Quick summary. Looks good. Nice. Order placed. Just to have that stamp of approval, like, okay, everything's set. It's good, huh? Yeah. Great job, Anel. And the last one, new jewelry. Oh, I feel there is only one screen. Oh. So I hope it's... Um, maybe for the last one, let me refresh. Maybe you forget to... You forgot to connect the screen. I'm sorry for this. <laughs> maybe you can submit it tomorrow and, and the, the guests will review it. It was promising. It was promising. But that's something that happens to yep. you just publish and you forget to connect the screens. <laughs> Good job, everybody. Okay, yeah. Oh so my gosh. all the guests from today, they will review all the entries. Uh -huh. And one of you uh, will receive a message saying, Congratulations. You just won one year of Creative Cloud. So wow, that's I think it will be also announced nice. tomorrow morning. Okay. At the beginning of the day, they will say, Hey, yesterday, this designer won Creative Cloud. Yeah. Awesome. Mr. Oh, Talent. Hey. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but you, you can come and say hi to our friends. We're just uh, <laughs> guys wrapping up. What's yeah, up? we're wrapping up. Yeah. Oops, yes. Yes. What's up? So we have the Talented. father of XD with us. <gasps> hey, good job. It's good to see you back streaming, Mr. Chase. <laughs> yeah, there was an emergency. So, so. Kevin, what's up? Man? How's it going? I'm back see you. Just a backup plan. Oh, yeah. we, we used the new um, select inside groups. Yes. Yeah. That's super useful. Like so you nice. saved us today. Mm -hmm. So nice. Uh, it's so it's, useful. It's kind of one of those things like I haven't, I, I haven't, I've gotten so used to not having it. Yeah. And then yeah. like doing it feels like a completely <laughs> uh, yeah. different app. You're like, I need a, yeah, it changes <laughs> and then everything. click all the time. <laughs> We're used to double clicking. Yeah. 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 It's way better. <laughs> and, uh, and we try awesome. also the, um, the drag gesture on the web when you submit the previous. Yeah, mm -hmm. that helped a lot. Mm -hmm. Super smooth. Actually, we have a lot of friends like today who submitted entries and they use the drag. <gasps> they they incorporate incorporate it very well. Yeah. Nice. I can't very wait to check them out. Job. I can't wait to check them out. So, yeah. so. Kevin, you're going to join me Friday, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, cool. All right. I'm, yeah. I'm thinking Again. of having a little, a little design challenge for you. Oh, cool. Oh. A little, so. little like one off. Okay. I'm thinking, yeah. That sounds fun. Should be fun. Should be fun. I'm, so, yeah, yeah. Telling goes live every Friday. <laughs> cool. Uh, if you haven't. Um, Done it like you should watch a replay of the last uh, two weeks ago. Yeah. But last week was pretty good too. Yeah, but two weeks ago it was crazy. Mm -hmm. It was a sneak mm -hmm. with uh, Andrew Shorten, the yeah. brick manager. Oh my about wow. so it was finished. It was the first version of XD, the current version, and, mm -hmm. the, and the future. And so they sneaked oh, wow. what, what's coming, and it's just insane. It was really good. Insanely really good. good. Oh my god. Right. Cool. Thanks for passing by. Good to see you guys. Yeah, it was good to see nice. you. Yeah. I walked by and I saw you on the screen. I'm, I'm like, like, who? Chase is streaming? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, who is that? And I'm like, oh, it's Dan. Yeah. Okay, cool. Kevin, and it's yeah. time. So awesome. Well, thanks for uh, it was fun designing with you. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. And uh, I'm glad I could be here. Thank yeah. you, everybody. Let's review one more time your, your apps. So this was the Mentors yes. Menti app. Mentor, and Menti. we'll be back tomorrow. Maybe we have a schedule animation or something. Although we don't know what happened tomorrow, but let's um, see. Let's see what's happening. What is supposed to happen this week? Yeah. Um, so we start at eight thirty with a Photoshop daily creative challenge. If you want okay. to learn some cool tips using Photoshop, Kathleen will be there, and then we welcome GC, hosted by you, Kevin. Yeah. Asa <laughs> Medina, Medina will be back with Gus, and then we'll see tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure. I don't think I can host tomorrow. So yeah, we'll um, we'll figure it out. Yeah. We'll, we'll just. See. Make sure to come back. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank Bye. you, everyone. See you tomorrow.